Where can you travel with 5,000 pesos? Hi guys, my name is Angelica and my name is Eileen and welcome to another episode of Where Can You Travel on a Budget? The destination for today is not New Zealand, not Batanes, this is actually Catanduanes. So this show is where we actually travel with 5,000 pesos and that's inclusive of flight, hotel, food, transportation, and tours. Literally everything for 5K. And I know it sounds hard to believe, but stick until the end of this video because we're gonna share with you every single piece we spent. For the past five years, we've been on a journey to visit all 81 provinces of the Philippines. And on this channel, we're gonna show you our itineraries, our cost breakdowns, and a whole ton of money-saving tips. So if you wanna travel around the Philippines in the easiest and most affordable way possible, then this channel is perfect for you. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you'll be updated on our next travel guide. And without further ado, let's go to Catanduanes. How to get to Vera Catanduanes. Okay, so first order of business, we booked a flight from Manila to Vera Catanduanes, and good thing we were able to snag a piece of sale, so it only costed us 1,269 pesos round trip. Thank you! <laughs> Hello, Kuya. Hello, Morning. 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 This is Kuya Noli, our tour guide for the day. We booked a tricycle tour which costed 1,500 good for two packs. And this includes pickup at the airport, a virak tour, and drop off at Puraran Beach, which is where we'll be staying tonight. But since our flight was so early in the morning, our first stop is the most important meal of the day, breakfast. What is it? Langka. With rice, but With rice. Only rice. So we only rice? Yeah. This is our pre-beach workout. And now we have arrived at our first destination. But let's let the drone do all the talking. Okay, let's fly. One minute later. There comes the rain. So it's still raining, right? But at least it's sunny. Mm. This place is called Twin Rock Beach Resort, and the day trip entrance fee is only 75 pesos per head. It's called Twin Rock Beach because it's in front of two rock formations that are right next to each other. The resort also has rooms and cottages for rent, along with an in-house restaurant. And before we move on to our next destination, it has finally stopped raining again. Let's fly. Ang init ko yah. Ganon talaga dito or? Parang ngayon lang. Ngayon lang. So this is the the hottest day of the year. And guys, na wala na yung pants ko. I mean, nasa na yung pants mo. Niyan ko sa beach ang init eh. Our second destination is called Talisoy Beach and the entrance fee is only 20 pesos per head. This place is known for its Jesus face rock formation and we wanted to see it in person. Check this out. Done. 
Destination number three is called Marilima Beach and the entrance fee is only 15 pesos per head. The thing I like about the beaches in Virac is that they're all white sand beaches and not crowded at all. This place is perfect for groups because they have cottages for rent where you can have a beachfront lunch with your family and friends. This is the hottest day in the world. Our tour guide for today, he said that today is more hot than usual. Mm. Maybe because we arrived? Ooh. What do you think? <laughs> the next destination on the list is called Batag Beach. And along this beach, Kuyanoli brought us to a resort where we can have our lunch. It's really cute here. There's like outdoor seating. You can have a little picnic here. This place is called the Midtown Inn Resort, and let me tell you, it is so pretty here. My gosh! <laughs> Let's go! Included in our tour were two stopovers within the Bato municipality. The first is Maribina Falls, which is the most famous waterfalls in Catanduanes. And the second stop was the Bato Church, which was built around 200 years ago. Finally, we made it to our last beach of the day, which is where we'll be staying tonight. And let me just say, out of all of the beaches we witnessed today, this one is by far my favorite one. She was going through those rocks, guys. One of the most beautiful beaches I've seen, a surfer's paradise, and I would even call it the next Shargao of the Philippines. This is called Puraran Beach. Puraran Surf Beach Resort offers different styles of accommodation, but we chose the Kubo because it's the cutest one. The entire Kubo has two rooms for rent, and we got the one on the right. Time to check out our room. There it is. Here's our cute little bed, some towels, blanket, little surfboard table right there. So it's actually a fan room. And I just saw that you can even open this little sliding door. It's a little balcony. And this is the view. Just imagine getting a beachfront accommodation for only 600 pesos per night. Come in now. No. Oh, oh hi. Hey. Welcome to Barak. We're we're not in Barak. Oh, we're not in Barak. <laughs> we're in Baras. Baras. So we took a little photo shoot with our precious hammock and then proceeded to have some dinner inside the resort. So first, he sip sip the head. Yeah. And to end the day, we decided to sit by the beach, watch the stars, and eat some snacks. Yummy. Cheers. We're looking at the stars right now. You guys can't see it. But you guys can see this one star. <laughs> we know that God created the earth, right? But did he create Saturn? You know what? He had seven days. Like... Seven days. He had seven days to create the solar system. <laughs> Nothing is better than having a partner you can talk about anything with. And after Tanya was getting a little too clingy, Excuse me. Tanya, excuse me. We decided to get ready for bed and call it a night. Now day two is the reason why we booked Catanduanes in the first place. You know what they say. The most beautiful places are the most difficult to get to. 
And to be honest, the route is a bit challenging. Five a.m. <laughs> it's five a.m. Wow, the sacrifices we make to watch the sunrise. I did not expect this. Look at us hiking in our dresses. <laughs> it rained the night before, so it's quite muddy right now. Oh my gosh, my slippers are sinking in. Remember to avoid the rainy season because the trek is uphill and I was literally slipping the entire morning. But thanks to Cuyosito for guiding us safely since 5 a.m. After that 30 minute trek, we finally made it to the top. What? Now this girl is gonna do some drone clips. Let's go. This is not New Zealand. This is not Batanes. This is Binurong Point, Catanduanes. I'm still in shock with how breathtaking this place is. If you've never been to Catanduanes, this should be a priority on your list. Vlog moment. Since we can't afford Batanes tickets, ito na lang. Go for Brunak. Tumbling! <laughs> so there's lots of chocolate up here. As you can see here, there's like a gate. Do you know what that's for? What's that for? It's for the cows. They go all the way there. Oh no. Yeah, so oh, saying, no. they put that there so the cows will not fall. Oh! <laughs> Binurong Point is definitely a place I will never forget. And now we go back. So Cuyasito gave me his shoes because because Kanina Park was slipping. <laughs> ah, so this is Alingato. Alingatung. Alingatung. What is this? Adini dik dik. So you dik dik the roots. What is dik dik? Dik dik. That's dik dik. Just get the root and then you dik dik it. The fresh lagundi. This is lagundi. That's for your cough. This is the first time I've seen a lagundi. So this is makahiya. Hiyat means shy, so when you touch it, they shy away. And that was a peaceful walk going back to the starting point. When we got back, there was a sari sari store in the area, so we decided to order some coffee and hang out with the locals. This is Ate Agnes, the owner of the sari sari store. And of course, our tricycle driver for the day, Kuya Onyong. Hi! You're so friendly. And now it's time to go back to the resort. When we got back to the resort, we made some new friends at the reception area, and they were really cool. They're actually bikers who were doing an entire 360 degree loop all around the island of Catanduanes. And they're actually vloggers as well, so you could check them out. As we were about to order some breakfast, Kuyo Onyong said that today was the fiesta of San Rafael. And in Philippine culture, a fiesta is a town party where everyone is invited to join. And as a way of celebrating, you can go to people's houses and eat food. And we figured, why not? Because when will we ever get a chance to celebrate a fiesta in Catanduanes again? And the first house we went to was no other than the Barangay Captain's house. Fiesta. And then we realized we were tattoo buddies. We all got similar tattoos by the famous Apo Wang Odd. Shout out to Wang Odd. And after eating our meal, it was time to go back to the resort. Thank you for the food. Thank you. Nice meeting you guys. Back to the resort and guess what? We made even more friends. I guess we're just really friendly people. <laughs> this is Tina, this is Peter, and this is Jericho. We told them about the fiesta this morning and how we had a lot of fun and eventually they decided they wanted to try it as well. So, on to our second house of the day. 
and this time with our new buddies. Fiesta today! <laughs> I did not expect our trip to Catanduanes would be full of meeting new people and eating good food. And we were able to try the famous latik from Catanduanes. It's official. I'm really loving this fiesta thing. Thank you for the food. <laughs> Back to the resort and the philosophy talk continues. I don't know why, but there's something about us with philosophy. He had seven days to create the solar system. When it was nearing sunset time, we all went out to have dinner together. But since it was a fiesta day, many restaurants decided to close early. Early dinner. Early dinner. Stores closed at around 5. Have to get there. <laughs> and it also takes a 5 to 10 minute uphill walk from the resort to the main road. All closed. All right. False alarm. There's no restaurant open. Since the other barangay, they're having a fiesta right now. So they're eating there instead. And after dropping by three restaurants that were all closed, we finally found one. Thank God. It was our last night in Catanduanes and I'm so happy to have spent it with these awesome people. <laughs> We were all shocked to see that Jericho snuck out and paid for the bill. So thank you again, Jericho, for the treat. And since we have an early flight tomorrow, we walked back to the resort and called it a night. And now we're ready for our morning flight. Thank you. So Kuya Onyong drove us to the airport, dropped us off. We checked in at our favorite airline, bought some latik pasalubong, boarded the flight, and off we went. <laughs> That ends our three days, two nights Catanduanes itinerary. And now it's time for the cost breakdown. Please know that the prices are subject to change over time. I'm just sharing the exact prices that we've paid on our trip. So first off, our pre-expenses were the flight and hotel, and the total cost was 1,869 pesos per head. On day one, our expenses were 1,390 pesos per head. On day two, our expenses were 480 pesos per head. And on day three, our expenses were 250 pesos per head. So add all this together, our flight, hotel, food, transport, and tours for three days, two nights, our total cost was 3,989 pesos per head. Now, I know in our trip, we had three free meals because of our fiesta hopping. But let's say on your trip, you don't get any free meals. So let's just add an additional 1,000 pesos above our total cost to cover these free meals. And voila, your total cost would be 4,989 pesos per head. At the end of the day, it still fits within our 5K budget. And that was Catanduanes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if this video helped you in any way, please hit that like button and comment down below if you're going to Catanduanes anytime soon. Or if you've already been there, comment some fun things to do that we've missed in this video. And I guess that's it. Always remember guys, travel does not have to be expensive. And that's what we want to preach on this channel. We want to teach you guys how to save money when traveling, how to make money when traveling, how to book cheap flights, cheap hotels, and just a whole ton of travel hacks. So if you like that kind of content, Content, hit that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell so that you are updated the next time we upload another video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this travel guide. My name is Angelica Wanders and my name is Eileen Wanders. Never stop wondering.